I'm still in awe of this thing, man. It's like totally different car. I'll... <laughs> to uh, Voodoo Fab and uh, we are getting a cage for the Razor Turbo S. All right guys, just got here to uh, Voodoo. We're gonna go in here and see what Lane's up to. Hey, What's up, Lane? Nothing. What's Not going really. on? The man, the myth, the legend. <laughs> Lane of Voodoo. Welcome. Hey, I don't know that we've discussed color. No. No? We, no, we need to figure out a couple things, so. All right, Lane's actually ahead of schedule here. He's got the cage already on the jig and uh, he's got the side posts on there. He's got a little bit of the back stuff cut up here. So we're gonna bend a little bit more pipe, get the center channels in, get the side posts here. And then I think we're gonna do something pretty special here in the back where, uh, I don't know, we got some ideas kicking around in our head and we're gonna try to figure out what it's gonna look like. All right, tell us about this thing. Oh boy, what do you want to know? <laughs> Everything. It's made out of 120 wall DOM. Okay. Most people are only using 095. I like people to be able to wreck and keep riding. <laughs> so uh, that's why I used it. It's easy to bend. I got to square it up still. I didn't get that far before you got here. Cool. So I got to do a little bit of sharpie. He's way farther than I thought he was going to be. So <laughs> we'll uh, just kind of hang back and watch him work for a few minutes. Tell you what, I know a lot of people are uh, hesitant to, to go through this and put a cage on. Everybody says, oh, cages are expensive. When you really think about all of the time and effort that goes into putting one of these things together, bending the tube, welding everything, jigging everything up and making sure everything's square and it's gonna fit on the car when he takes it off the jig to put it on the car. I mean, it's, it's really not that bad. Um, the price to pay for the added safety that you get from one of these things and plus, you know, the peace of mind knowing that if something does happen, that, you know, you're covered. Oh, shoot. Look where we are. Boom. Voodoo. Guess what that means? Cage. Today. Awesome. What's today? What's today, Lane? Cage day. Today's cage, cage day. day. That's every day, though. Royce. Eric. What up, What's man? today? What's up? Cage day? Cage, Cage day. day. I'm almost more excited about this secret thing oh, yeah. over here. Oh, yeah. Whoops. <laughs> I'm not going to tell them about that. We have big things in the works for you uh, Terex people out there. That's right. Some Soon to stuff. be unveiled. Yeah. The so, cage, though. I'm excited to see it on there, man. Yeah. It's going to look so awesome. I'm excited. Yeah. <laughs> Doors? Doors are in the truck. So we're, yeah. It's we're full go. She's going to look completely different today. Oh, man. On the car by the end Game of the Game on. Here we go. All right, Ryan, who's the dummy that let the bolts fall down? I'll take credit. <laughs> You're too nice, because it was not you. At the end of the day, <laughs> we're gonna pump the brakes a little bit. We've been trying to set a land speed record, I think, trying to get this thing off, so pump the brakes a little bit, make sure we don't lose anything and, and get it get it done correctly. <laughs> do, it, do, it, do it right, yeah. But that doesn't mean Where's we can't still try to beat the record. <laughs> Tell everyone the trick. So all these there stupid nuts back in here, you use this side of the, the wrench and you put a piece of tape here and stick it over the nut. So when you take the bolt out, you can just slide the nut out. Otherwise it falls down, gets stuck under the, in between the skid plate and the floor pan and you have to take the whole damn thing off. So this is how... These are the Razor Pros. <laughs> these are the Razor Pros. I'm standing back at this point. So, but this one's boggling my mind right now is that you have to take the middle plastic out to take your harnesses out. Blowing me away right now.
All right, Lane. Tell us the uh, the secret to putting on the cage. Line up bars. <laughs> Line up bars. Yep. So if you guys notice, what we did is we jacked it up, and it's not just a little bit to take the weight off, but quite a bit. Basically, as tall as you can get it. Um, and basically, the uh, the reason for that is when you take the cage off, it'll actually sag and make it hard to line back up. So, just a just a tip for any of you guys doing it at home. What do you think about the progress so far? This thing is so good looking. You it's ready incredible. to get a razor? No, because I don't want to work on it. <laughs> Freaking sucks to work on this thing. It's awful. Other than that, Ryan's transformation is going to be Auto amazing. So Ryan, what do you think? <laughs> it's Dude, coming together, man. I'm still in awe of this thing, man. It's like totally different car. I'll, I pulled out of the garage the other day and all the neighbors were like, did you get another car? Did you get a new one? I'm like, no, nah, just finally got it back to where it needs to be, so. Yeah, a little backstory. You had a 64 inch car and then I traded did. it in, what, three months after? <laughs> yeah. Came home with a Turbo S. Yeah. He also has a speed car in order. So I'm known around the neighborhood for flipping cars real quick around. <laughs> Buy something different so so um, tell us about what you've done so far obviously we've been uh hyping up the cage <laughs> yeah we've been talking about this for a while and uh finally got uh got everything hammered out and back from powder and everything so obviously you guys can see brand new cage uh lane over at uh voodoo fab hooked it up we uh worked pretty closely with him to uh kind of design and make a cage that uh, doesn't look like any other cage that I've ever seen anywhere uh, either on the internet or in person so a couple of highlights on this one we decided to do a, uh, a plate with the uh, off camber uh, power logo um, brought the bat design back chopped the roof down super low widened it out a little yeah, what bit what would you say it's like six inches lower in the back <sighs> man it's probably even more than that 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 stock cage is so high yeah like I don't know. I feel like I went from like vaulted ceilings to <laughs> to, to like regular eight foot ceilings after this, man. Basement but floor apartment. It really is, dude. Um, kind of drug out the back end, um, hooked it back in here into the into the back section to kind of give it a long, low, sleek look. Yeah. Um, one of the main design things that took us kind of a while to figure out was this back hoop here. Haven't really seen any other cage on the market that has this this sort of profile in the back where the roof kind of curves around and uh, and makes this curve on the back. And then these uh, these V-bars underneath yeah, give you the awesome. added support. So the back looks amazing. It was it was a couple weeks. We spent, uh, I think I spent two hours one day just kind of looking at it and <laughs> trying to figure out where I wanted everything to go and how we wanted it to line Tell up. Tell us some but, of the other cool little stuff we did here. Yeah, so we did these little uh, nut certs threaded in the outlets so we can do GoPro cameras everywhere or if you wanted to hang some other things. There's one on each here. one of the pillars. Here. Yeah, there's one up underneath here that'll go the through roof. the roof. There's one on the back in the roof. Yep. We, we had it cut through for whips for his rugged antenna. We had it threaded for the seismic mirror there. Yep. Um, so tell us what else you've done. Well, yeah, we did on, uh, real quick. on this one. So you, as you guys know, in the Turbo S is this whole dash panel comes out to get to the wiring and everything else. So we did a uh, removable crossbar here. 
so that you can pop this bar out and you can still pop that whole dash yeah, off. Yeah, the whole center bar crossbar comes off so you can lift up the whole dash. Yeah. Awesome. There is a windshield coming for it. It's not quite uh, done yet. They had to, to redesign everything to kind of mirror the the dash panels there. But other than that, man, uh, heads up, man. Again, shout out Lane, dude. Did awesome work on this thing and turned out, you know, better than I could have anticipated. A um, couple other things we did that you might have noticed. Uh, finally put the uh, Moto Armor doors in. They've been killing me. They've sit, been sitting in my garage in a box for the last, I don't know, four or five weeks. Shout out Revolution for uh, for getting those for us. And, uh, yeah, so what, what's the main differences between these and the stock doors? First of all, they're beautiful. Yeah. I mean, they, they make this thing look so, Smooth. so, so much better. Um, second of all, it gives you roughly, I don't know, three and a half, almost four inches of extra space. As you can see kind of the door pillar here. Yeah, if your shoulders are three feet wide like Ryan's, <laughs> right? you need a little extra room. So you got a whole bunch of extra room in here on the stock doors. My knees are constantly banging against the, the doors. And uh, with this one, I have to like almost cock my leg out to, to even touch the door. So. so we haven't really gone through the full build. What else have you done to the car? What do you really like about it so far? Uh, number one, gear reduction. I mean, we kind of hinted at it and talked about it loosely a little bit here and there. But that is like almost the cheat code for these things <laughs> like you do a gear reduction and it feels like you know you're up down up down left right left right ba select start on contract <laughs> it's i don't know what the hell you just said but... <laughs> and for all you guys that are 80s babies man you'll get it <laughs> regular nintendo yeah um, um what else have you done another thing we did was the uh, sticker delete we took all the stock blue stickers off yeah so this thing used to be blue now it's tan and black desert tan and black we had some we had union graphic make Shout some out custom union. Uh, stickers for us did the prp harnesses in here took out the stock ones um prp harnesses again yep. if you guys are looking for prp harnesses revolution off-road's got them in stock hanging on the wall go in there and those guys will hook you up if you're in the area yep then you've got the skid plate yep that's SS off road. Between that and the in the gear reduction, if you're any kind of rock crawler or anything like that, like those are your two must haves. They're not, you don't see them. They don't make your car look different, but they are the best, man. It took forever. For I had to, to convince talk. Ryan for months. I'm like, dude, get a gear reduction, get a skid plate. You'll enjoy <laughs> riding a lot more. And it took forever because he's like, man, I want cool stuff like the doors and the yeah. cage and the wheels and the tires and. Yeah, I want my money to be like. I want to be able to see my money where it goes, but hands down, if I had to do it all over again, those are the first two things that are going in any car I build. Yep. No questions asked. Yep. The doors, the roof, all that stuff can wait. Gear reduction and skid plate are, are the two must-haves, I, I think, for, for out here at Sand Hollow. Well, that was the first road. two things you did on this one. <laughs> yeah, we did the cage and the doors last, yeah. which is smart. So anything else you got coming? <clears throat> uh, we're going to do seats for sure. Um, haven't decided 100% on which direction we're going to go on those. We did the Ryko turn signal kit in here. Um, it's kind of nice to be street legal pretty much everywhere you go. Yeah. And you got the eye command. You put an <laughs> iPad in there with an OtterBox case yeah. for, uh, for ride command navigation. Got the rugged radios, intercom system, behind the head, ultimate headsets. And then again, we have door bags coming in and then that's, that's that's the majority of what we got going on, huh? You've got that new storage box in the back. Oh, yeah. Big players. But we're going to go out and get you guys some more uh, footage. Probably going to go hit Double Sammy real quick. Sounds good. Hey, guys. Just wanted to uh, add one more thing. These uh, showed up last night. Uh, inclusive manufacturing uh, radius rods, man. Check these things out. They are absolutely awesome. Just really completes the back end of the car, man. Totally cool. Passenger. He's 
so horrible. <laughs> so go there. Go left. Go right. Go there. Ryan now knows how my wife feels in the car. <laughs> Hey, big thanks out there to everybody that's liking, sharing, subscribing to the YouTube channel. Really appreciate your support. I uh, want to be able to keep this thing going, and we enjoy doing it and putting these videos out for you guys. So um, like, subscribe, share it if you haven't already. Um, we appreciate each and every one of you. Talk to you soon. Look forward to the next video. Hope you enjoyed this one.